So to set the stage here, Rundeck has a website hosted by a third-party vendor. And what we'll simulate here is a customer trying to access more information about Rundeck only to have a poor experience. So this vendor is a great hosting provider. They have terrific observability set up and they pick up on these troubles immediately. And they use PagerDuty to alert the team when there's actually something wrong. So as a customer landing on the site, the first compelling button for me may be this watch demo button. Um, but as I click it, you see I'm getting these errors and as is human nature, I start to button mash a few seconds trying to figure out you know, what's going on before I eventually just give up and, and go on about my day. All right, so in a moment, I'm gonna change context a little bit. I'm gonna take on the role of this on-call engineer in PagerDuty. So as soon as my observability tools kind of learn about this issue and send that event into PagerDuty, I receive the page. And as a responsible on-call engineer, I immediately respond to this page and acknowledge this incident through the PagerDuty mobile app by clicking this little act button here on the very bottom bar. Okay. So, so far, so good. We, we, we've acknowledged this incident and put human eyes on it in less than a minute. So the first thing as a responder that I might do is I go to the website and confirm that the website is truly down. Yep, looks like I, I can't access anything here. So I'm going to navigate here into the PagerDuty web UI and take a look at the incident from there. So I'll see that I see that same information about the incident, the same alert detail as we saw on that mobile app before. And I'm going to add a note to the incident here just to, you know, for anybody that sees it, it will know that I'm actively working on it. So if this incident continues for too long, I also know I'm going to start needing to notify stakeholders with status updates and things like that. Uh, but for now, I just want to begin really diagnosing the problem. And my colleague Peyton has helped me with these types of issues in the past. He's a subject matter expert when it comes to these type of incidents. So I'm going to use PagerDuty to ask for his assistance. And I also want to ping him here on Slack. So I'm going to speed our coordinated response once Peyton joins this. I'm going to speed that up to a, to a 5x speed, just so you don't need to watch the whole sausage being made for this whole process. But um, it really, you know, after I loop in Peyton, it takes him a little under a minute to him to acknowledge and, you know, another 30 seconds or so for him to context switch and, and begin helping out. So you'll see we're running a, a series of diagnostic commands to really get to the root of that problem. So eventually here, we're going we're gonna to find that the Docker container running the web server for this site was knocked offline for some reason. Peyton responds with his troubleshooting document. Peyton also is going to respond here with the actual command to deploy the Docker container. Uh, Nick will run that deployment and, you know, double check that we do have a, a successful website here. So I'm going to navigate back to the page of the incident. We see the incident resolved itself once monitoring detected the healthy state. And we have a total incident duration here of 11 minutes. And as one last step, just to verify, I might head over to the hosting site and try to watch that same demo. Everything now seems back to normal.